types of beams based on the shape of the cross section. We have different shapes of cross section. Number one, let's look at T-beam. The use of T-beam in construction have some advantages. A T-beam have a flange and the web. The flange helps to resist tensile forces while the web helps to resist shear stress. T-beam has a top flange but the bottom flange is missing. This means at the bottom of the T-beam, the resistance to tensile stresses are minimal. This is why I-beam at times is preferred. An inverted T-beam can be used for different purposes in construction. For example, inverted T-beam can be used for a floor slab or decking. Inverted T-beam can also be used for bridge decking. Joining the tops of the beam flanges creates a flat and at times uniform surfaces. L angle cross section. In construction, L angle beam is very important. And can be used for foundations where the level of the ground are not equal. Also very important and useful for bridge decking where the slabs are not equal or are not at the same level. Next is HSS which simply means hollow structural sections. These sections can be square, rectangular or round. They design construction and use of hollow structural sections are very common in the United States compared to many other countries. Next, wide flange. I-beam consists of the wide section and the standard section. A wide flange beam is a type of building material used to construct homes, bridges and other structures. In Canada, wide flange beams represent the most widely used type of beam compared to the standard I-beams. Wide flange beam allows builders to distribute a load over a wide area, hence can support a larger or wider structure with less risk of failure. White flange beams also weigh less than a square beam of the same size, making them more efficient. All over the world, beam sizes are standardized, making it easier for engineers, architects and builders to coordinate during construction. Next, I-beam. H-beam, unlike the I-beam, has 
a uniform thickness. H beam shaped like the letter H is wider than the I beam and has no tapered edges. H beam just like the letter H has wider flanges with uniform thickness. The I beam just like the letter I has tapered edges and a slightly higher cross section compared to the flange width. The flanges resist most of the bending moment as well as the tensile forces. The web resists the shear forces and stresses. I-beams are lightweight. I-beam is used for the frameworks of buildings and provide structural support which helps to save time and cost. I-beams equally provide structural stability. I-beams handle variety of loads when used horizontally and can be used vertically as columns. I sections can be connected to support slabs. Channel The channel shape has a cross section like the letter C with uniform thickness. The C-shaped section cannot be used alone for a beam or column. The Z section is used as polings on rafters to support a roof system. C channel section comes in different dimensions. On the screen are the first four row dimensions from the standard table. There are various types of channel which are used in construction with different profiles and dimensions. C channel helps in the construction of mezzanine floor. Mezzanine floor is not a permanent floor and does not count as one of the building floors. Mezzanine floor does not extend to the whole building floor space and can be used as an industrial storage space. A structural engineer will determine if the C channel can support the floor. The C channel is cast into the slab or face fixed to precast concrete or fixed to the steel work or fixed to the building frame using tech screws. C section in combination with I-beam can help to support pulling roof systems. The C section will replace the pulleys while the I beam will replace the rafters. Pulling help to hold rafters. C channel are used for suspended ceiling system. Suspended ceilings are beautiful and easy to maintain.
C channel helps in suspended ceiling acoustic tiles for acoustical ceiling panels. Channels can be used for brickwork restraint system. C channel can be used for cladding. C channel can help in windows and doors restraint systems. C section can be helpful for external insulation. External insulation can be an alternative method of reducing and minimizing heat loss from a building structure. There are other open sections used in construction which are designed and tailored for specific purposes. If this video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. To locate other helpful videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video lesson.